Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the shop. I was talking with a buddy a couple weeks ago. He wanted to know if I could make him a pen and a pencil. So I said, yeah, why not? I'll turn you a set of each on the lathe. So that's what I ended up doing. I asked him if he had any specifics, anything he wanted. He said, no, just do whatever I think I would like to have. So that's exactly what I did. The pen is made out of Paduke. The kit is called Fancy Slimline. And you can see it has a very smooth mechanism in there. I think he'll be very happy with this. This pencil is a 0.9 millimeter Pentel. Those are the ones with the yellow body. I've always enjoyed writing with these. It has the thicker lead. They don't break nearly as often, and I just really enjoy the way that they write. I've looked everywhere online. Nowhere did I find a conversion kit or any kind of kit that you're able to turn a 0.9 millimeter pencil. All of the kits that they sell are 0.5 mil, 0.7 mil, and even 2.0 mil, but I've never been able to find a 0.9 millimeter. I was able to convert this with a specialized drill bit. If you guys are interested in how I made this, let me know in the comments below. I've got the pencil done, I've got the pen done. I'm very happy how they turned out. I think my friend will really enjoy them. But now I had to think of a way to present these to him. The way I've always done it in the past is I've had these two pieces of maple here. I ran a cove bit right down the center and on the left and the right I sunk some magnets and then I basically mirrored that did the same thing for the top closes up stays closed with the magnets and then when you would want your pencil or your pen you just pull off your lid grab it you're good to go but I never liked that I wanted something with some sort of hinge something that would stay together something that would stay open I think that is a very nice presentation. So I had to think of something. So I got onto the easel program. I drew some stuff up. I mocked some stuff up. Uh, I'll bring you inside. I'll show you what I mocked up, what I think will work, and, and why I think it'll work. And then I'll come back out here to the shop, and I'll cut it, and hopefully it'll work. This is what I came up with here. If you look over here on the left side, this black outline is the actual outline of the case itself. I made mine inch and a half wide, six and a half inches long. Most of the pencils or pens I turn are about five, five and a quarter inches. So that's plenty long. This box right here is basically gonna be three different tool paths. You've got this black one for the outline. The center one is gonna be a cove bit which creates a shallow recess for the pen or pencil to sit in. This outside one here is going to be covered with a 90 degree V bit. Basically what that's going to do is that's going to chamfer the back edge of the top and the back edge of the bottom, create a 45 degree chamfer on both of those. Okay, I'm going to bring you guys in close for this one here. This hole right here is for a barrel hinge. The barrel hinges I ordered are 5 30 seconds in diameter. So that's the size of that hole right there. The important thing here is that the very edge of this chamfer is on dead center of this barrel hinge. If we think about what a hinge is, a hinge is, is just a pivot point. That pivot point is that pin that runs through the back of the hinge and that is exactly where your joint opens and closes from. So it's critical that the very edge of this chamfer is dead center of this barrel hinge in order for the geometry to work right. I figured I'd bring you in real close and take a look at these barrel hinges. You can see right there, dead center on that piece on the left, that's your pin. So that's your pivot point. Same thing as any other hinge. So as long as the chamfer comes down dead center of that pin, it will hinge correctly and it will stay open correctly. 
So if you have a 45 chamfer on your base, 45 chamfer on your lid, when they fully open, they'll open 90 degrees and that lid will stay open and it will be perfectly perpendicular to your base. So I brought all my tool paths back to this original window. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste and I'm going to flip horizontal and I'm going to open this up just a little bit. So now I have two. So now I have one full tool path for my top, one full tool path for my base. Now that I've got this file fully mirrored, I basically have my three tool paths. I have the outline and my barrel hinge, which I can cut with an eighth inch bit. I've got my two coves, which I will cut with a three quarter inch cove bit. Then I have my two chamfers, which are cut with a 90 degree V bit along the back side of the top and the back side of the bottom. So I'm going to cut these out, keep my fingers crossed, and I will bring you back in when those are all done. As you can see, this thing stays open perfectly without any assistance. Grab your pen, grab your pencil, and you can see this thing stays open perfectly. Because we have our 45 degree chamfer on the base, 45 degree chamfer on the lid, that creates our perfect 90 right there. This thing stays open. If you watch that point right there, you can see that's our pivot point. That's the center of our barrel hinge, which would be the same as the center of any hinge. We close this box, it's got a nice look from the back, from the side profile. Box opens up, stays open. Put our pencil, put our pen in there, perfect. And there we have it, a beautiful pen box, created all through easel, cut through a CNC, very minimal cost in this. I believe this bag of barrel hinges were 20 for probably $5, $6. Very minimal cost. You can cut these out of scraps. They don't take much wood. If you remember from my file, it was inch and a half by six and a half. This particular case is five eighths of an inch thick. I feel like that looks a lot better than three quarters of an inch. So I will throw some clear coat on here. I will cut another one for the pencil. Can't wait to give them to my buddy. If I helped you guys learn something and you got some value from this video, please give me a thumbs up and a like. If you have any other questions or concerns, drop them down in the comments below. And until next time, take it easy.